hey pisces welcome back guys so let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you guys what are the overall energies that my Pisces can expect here? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Now, Pisces, please keep in mind that these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and clarity regarding your situation. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. So I know it's been a while, guys. I haven't posted individual or sign-specific readings, but I was called to do so for this week. So let's see what's really going on. I'm trying out different things for the channel. I'm trying to grow both uh, in YouTube and in TikTok. So bear with me, guys. I know some days I'm here, some days I'm not. I do work from home sometimes as well. So it just it kind of all smashes up together. But I'm trying my hardest to be more consistent with you all. So let's go ahead and get started. Universe, <clears throat> Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, please help me give Pisces clear and concise messages. What is the overall energy? What's coming towards my Pisces? What will they be dealing with? love hate i'm angry but i still love you just hate what you do what you do just hate what you do and the bottom of the deck shattered i'm feeling broken and i can't stop these racing thoughts so pisces you may be going through a situation right now where there's a lot of unhappiness here and divine timings in the reverse but something is definitely being revealed within the allowable time frame okay um Whatever you've been going through, Pisces, it's been a rather rough patch for you, I feel. So what I'm getting here, Pisces, is that you could have very well been in a relationship where at one point you felt all the happiness in the world. You you were ecstatic. You were looking forward to get married to this person. You, you guys were planning a future that was an unbelievable future, but somewhere along the line, it went in the reverse. So there was some type of a misunderstanding, some type of a miscommunication here. And it's ever since then, you feel like divine, divine timing. You feel like everything around you is just, it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes. And you're not sure, is this person for me? Is this person not for me? Is this what I'm doing? Is this what I should be doing? Like, it's, it's kind of a scatterbrain type of energy, okay? Reason is, Pisces, I got to be honest with you. There's something that you have to go back and you have to work on, okay? There is some type of inner healing that needs to be taken care of here. Um, I feel that you're still shattered due to a situation from the past. Whomever you could have recently been dealing with, this person could have done you for a loop, okay? This person hurt you to the point where it's got you, Pisces, in this place of um, love and hate. You you love this person, but you, you, you hate to love this person, but you love to hate this person type of energy. You know what I mean? So there's something that you got to go back and you got to get resolved. Things are being revealed to you here, okay? There is a reason why that relationship came into pl in play at, at that time. There's a reason why you went through that situation at that time. Now, guys, keep in mind, this doesn't necessarily have to do with love. For some of you guys, it could have very well been one of those opportunities where you decided to leave an employment for another situation, but then you soon figured out or found out, this isn't my place. I need to go back. So again, make the scenarios fit wherever they are required to fit. Don't force them, but just attempt to fit them if they fit there. Um, but again, back, I'm throwing myself off, back to the reading. So again, I feel that something is being revealed to you, Pisces, in regards to a situation, a relationship. There's a, there's a, you're rejecting something because you're destined to, to go somewhere else. There, there's, there's a contract that you are recognizing, whether it's with a soulmate or an employment or whatever it might be that's being presented in your life right now. You're recognizing this contract because this is where you feel like this is the viable energy. This is where you need to ultimately be at. Um, and you're and you're getting the clarity. It's and it's all within divine timing, is what I'm hearing. Okay. So again, Pisces going back and resolving whatever hasn't been resolved in the recent past is what's going to allow you to finally see things for what they are, reveal some type of truth, and move on to bigger and better, okay? 
you will ultimately be rejecting a, uh, an opportunity here, whether it's with an ex or an employment or whatever it is. But you're going to be rejecting something. But the reason you're going to be rejecting that is because you come to this re this point of revelation where you're like, this isn't destined for me. This isn't part of me. This isn't part of my life. So it's time for me to move on to bigger and better. Okay. I'm a Pisces and I'm speaking from, from personal experience. This is actually an occurring energy that I was going through months ago. And it's now coming up in the reading, which... It's kind of blowing me away, but at the same time, I'm seeing the reason why this reading is coming up because my fellow Pisces out there, you guys got to start healing from some type of past trauma, get past that situation and, and start moving towards your abundance because look, at I just got this whole crazy stack of cards that came out here, but the one that stayed in the upright was the temperance because you're about to achieve some type of peace, harmony, and balance, Pisces. So it's time for you to get, it's time for you to, get to, to the point of healing restoring rejuvenating and moving forward here yes you had a rough patch with people in the past yes maybe a very painful situation but yes you're destined to to move towards bigger and better oh my god oh my god look at this ace of cups energy it, it's it's been made very clear pisces as you're healing from this past garbage this past trauma this past bullshit you're opening up the doors to this ace of cup a beautiful new beginning okay whether it's in your career whether it's in your life uh, in your personal life such as in relationships and love even with family and friends but you're about to <clears throat> enter this empress energy remember guys there is no gender in tarot so empress is just an energy of a powerful individual you're about to birth something new, birth a new relationship, birth a new opportunity, new financial stability. With the Eight of Pentacles energy here, it's like you are being given this one and only opportunity, Pisces, to actually be able to rebuild something or build something from scratch, okay? And what I mean by that is for some of you guys, you may have the chance to go back to your previous employer and rework at that job, redo things with those people, get in a better place, make more money, okay? For some of you guys, you're going to have the opportunity to build from the bottom up with someone new in a relationship. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going back to an ex because nine times out of ten, you know, when we make them our ex, we, ex, we make them our ex, okay? We, we no longer want to entertain these people. Sometimes we would go back to them, but being a Pisces myself, I've done that before where I've gone back to an ex and it just, it, no, nah, I don't see that person the same anymore. So I feel that you are give, being given the opportunity here to, again, a birth a beautiful new opportunity, a beautiful new situation. It, it's a new beginning, Pisces. All across the board is a new beginning. And with the three of wands in the reverse here and the two of wands in the upright, whatever has been blocking you whatever has been holding you back whoever has been holding you back is finally being removed from your life okay so if you've had these blockages um where when they have to do with mental emotional or physical maybe even it's you going back and resolving these previous situations and ultimately breaking free from all those delays and all those um all those um blockages that you were dealing with okay so this is again an opportunity to move forward Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What are the overall messages here for my Pisces, please? I have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, Pisces, it's finally the ending of betrayal, the ending of sadness. You know, you've given your all, your energy to, to people that, um, I got to be honest with you, Pisces, you trust them. I, I know, I'm a Pisces. We trust them. We give them the benefit of the doubt. And sometimes, nine times out of ten, not everyone, but majority of the people that we've given that trust to have turned back around and backstabbed us and hurt us in such a way where where they may even walk away from us with the hierophant in the reverse um where they may be very shitty angry mean disrespectful a, a, a the strength in the reverse where the where, where they come in and they're just controlling manipulating false new beginnings you know we've given these people the opportunity we've given our love our energy we've given our all to these individuals but they've never followed through with any type of promises here with what's getting ready to go on for you pisces you're about to find your happily ever after four of wands energy if you're wanting to look for a relationship if you're wanting to be in a better connection or even a better opportunity at work you're about to open up that door whatever it is that you are been, you've been wanting and wanting to move towards pisces it's about to be presented to you universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what is the overall energies here for my pisces please yep three of swords energy in the reverse 
the ending of heartache, the ending of painful situations, and finally, emotional equal give and take, okay? Working with others that you can understand and vibe with on, on such an energy. But the reason is, Pisces, <clears throat> that all of this is starting to come to play is because you're giving yourself that opportunity to finally rest, rejuvenate, heal, fall back, okay? No longer entertain unnecessary people, unnecessary drama, unnecessary situations. Some of you guys may have even walked away from an employment just because you needed a change of scenery or you needed to do something else to understand that, you know what, I'm actually destined at that company. Let me get back. I just needed a time to breathe and get away from my boss and my coworker before I, I, I told them all off, you know what I mean? It can also be with, with relationships. You could, you know, like I stated, you could have been in situations in the past where, you know, you dealt with people that at the beginning, they came at you strong, persistent, persistent, I'm sorry, wanting relationships, wanting a future with you, talking about marriage and everything. And then out of nowhere, they kind of dip and, and, and run. So again, it's you closing out all those negative cycles and you finally resting and rejuvenating so you can achieve this beautiful Four of Wands energy because what awaits you is happiness, Pisces, is stability, is longevity. You're going to be able to be in, again, whether it's employment or love, in, in a situation that is going to ultimately bring you in a lot of beautiful new beginnings because with this empress birthing in something new some of you guys may even get pregnant and have a family with someone new but whatever it is that's getting ready to be birthed for you or coming into play here is it's a new beginning is a destined new beginning and why because it all has to do with divine timing okay back then divine timing wasn't at play it wasn't it wasn't ready for you it, it was just not your time but today after going through some crazy scenarios, some crazy situations, some financials up and downs, you know, coming and going, whatever your scenario is, you're finally being revealed, you're finally being told, you're finally being given that divine timing where, you know what, okay, now it's time, Pisces, it's time for us to present what is divinely guided for you. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what are the final messages that we have for my Pisces here regarding these new beginnings? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. You're going to have a lot of options, Pisces, with the Seven of Cups energy here and Four of Pentacles in the reverse. There will be some people, places, or things that you will ultimately have to release. Um, you may have to ultimately walk away from certain situations, but at the end of the day, Pisces, it's, it's divinely guided opportunities that are being presented to you. So a lot of these things that you're going to be coming up against within these next couple of days, maybe even weeks, because my readings are generally for the next six to eight weeks. So keep in mind, this can happen within the next six to eight weeks. Um, you're going to have some offers that are just not going to be up to par. Okay. And again, Pisces, you're being told you can reject reject those offers that just don't don't serve a purpose for you reject those people that are coming in here with their player controlling energy okay reject them because your perfect match your perfect opportunity is literally being presented to you in the midst of all of this okay so if there's things that you are needing to reject them reject them if your soul is telling you uh pisces this is not for us it's time for us to start looking for something bigger and better than pisces follow that intuition follow that message because Rejection doesn't necessarily mean the opportunity won't be presented to you again. It can be presented to you in the near future. But there's something that's coming towards you, something that's a perfect match, something that is meant for you. Final messages here from my Pisces universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Final messages from my Pisces, please. Final messages from my Pisces here. You got the Five of Cups in the reverse, Pisces, for a final message. And the reason why I love to see this card come out is because it's finally giving you that added um, confirmation that your painful cycles, your, your sadness, your depression, whatever it is that you've been dealing with emotionally has finally come to an end because you have a two of cups being presented to you. Whatever is that you are dealing with right now, whether it's in love, finances, or something else, it's divinely guided for you. This Two of Cups energy is representing a soulmate energy, a soul, a soul contract, a soul situation, meaning that is what's always meant for you. So whatever blockages you've been dealing with, Pisces, they're being removed. Sadness, people that, that have caused you depression, that have caused you this overwhelming negative energy. All of those things, even opportunities with employers, all of those things are ultimately being removed 
and moved out of your way because what's coming towards you is this nine of pentacles energy you are being guarded you are being protected from those that no longer serve a purpose for you and what's coming towards you is nine of pentacles pre-empress energy so pisces prepare yourself things are about to change in your life i just feel that you're going to have a lot of options to choose from but understand that even though you reject some offers that may look pretty from the outside um, if you reject those offers and then you think to yourself, man, maybe I should have taken that opportunity, understand that there's a perfect match coming for you, okay? Your intuition is telling you to reject what no longer serves a purpose for you. Things are being revealed, okay? All in divine timing. In the past, things weren't coordinated, things weren't ready, certain things weren't just ready to happen because you needed to see something else, you needed to experience something else. Well, you've already gone through the experience, you've gone through the healing process, now it's time for you to start rejecting those situations that just don't serve a purpose for you or even those people and start preparing yourself because what's coming towards you, this pre-empress with this four of wands, with this ace of cups and empress energy, it's like all the happiness in the world. You're going from being someone's main squeeze someone's numero uno somebody's um fiance to being their wife the mother the children the father the children the husband don't matter a new beginning in love a new boss in a new, in a new situation even if it's with an old company it's just bringing in happily ever after pisces it's what you've been praying for is what you've been hoping for it's coming towards you all right pisces i hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed don't forget to like share subscribe click that notification bell and if you guys are interested in a personal reading the info is in the description box below i'll talk to you guys soon take care bye